Hi, everybody. It's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Thank you for tuning in today. I think it's going to be a fun video. We're going to talk about how to get a really easy, inexpensive, fake tan without a lot of mess. We're going to, we're going to talk about a little bit about the cruise because so many of you have been asking about it. And, and I think you're going to be surprised about it. And we're going to talk a, uh, just a little bit about this headband I'm wearing today. Can you see it? Oh, my goodness. Can you see the sparkles? I hope my light's here. I hope they're picking up on it and really making it sparkle because... It's just the right amount of sparkle. So uh, it was a special headband that, um, well, you, you're just going to have to wait. You're just going to have to wait. The first thing I want to talk to you about is tan. Oh, and by the way, do you see what I have on today? One of my new caftans from Amazon. I will link it below in case you missed that last video. I ordered three new ones from Amazon and this is one of them. I'm going to be at home today, just have no real plans. So I'm just going to wear this caftan around all day long because I just feel like being super comfortable. And hopefully, if someone does come to the door, I'll be presentable. One of my new caftans. Love this. I love the colors. All right, tanning. You know, I'm one of those old women, <laughs> older women, who literally baked in the sun. I did the baby oil and the aluminum foil and no sunscreen for so many years, so many years. And I'm telling you, I, I'm paying for it. Uh, once I figured out and it hit me what the sun was going to do to me, I stopped. I mean, I, if I do go to the beach or if I have gone to the pool, I always make sure that I use plenty of sunscreen and, and a good sunscreen and I, I apply it often. And so I have I think I've, as much as I can, pre prevented any further damage. But if you've used any of the self-tanners in the past, you know, and you're older, you know that when you tan, all of those sunspots that we get on our arms, the age spots, the freckling, they, it just magnifies them. And, and your, the background is tan and those spots just stand out. At least they do on me. And it's been every self-tanner that I've ever used. You put it on and it's a beautiful color. And then after it does its thing and you bathe or shower and get that pretty color off, for me, that's when I see, oh, I have, the skin is dark, but boy, do those spots, they just stand out like sore thumbs. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing for several years now. And it's all I do and it's all I will ever do because Number one, it is so inexpensive, and it is so pretty. When I do this, I promise you, I have people just ask me, have you been out in the sun? What suntan lotion do you use? You are a beautiful color, because it is a beautiful color, and you can do it and make it any color you want it. Let me show you what I use. And some of you probably already know I keep it in a plastic bag. And this is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Makeup. And I wear the medium. And that's what it looks like. And I buy it usually at Walmart. I think they have it at the drugstores too, but I usually pick it up at Walmart. I can seem to always find it there. This tube is four fluid ounces. And it's under $10.00 like nine dollars and something usually what it says on the back and i'm going to read it it says lightweight makeup instantly covers veins freckles and imperfection 
infused with Palomera extract to enhance coverage for silky smooth legs and feet. Water and transfer resistant. Won't rub off on clothes. Skin stays fresh and natural looking all day. <laughs> this is small and I have good eyes because of my cataract surgery, but, <laughs> but this is small. Uh, and what it says is just squeeze a quarter size product into your hand, smooth on evenly to legs and feet, rub in completely, apply sparingly to knees and ankles. Allow to set before dressing. Remove easily with soap water and a washcloth for external use only. Okay, so yes, I use this on my legs, but let me tell you, I use it on my chest. I use it on my arms. What I do is I only use it on skin that's going to show once I have my clothes on. So I don't put it all over my body. Only where it's going to show. I have none on today. Now, I'm looking at my skin, and I look like I have some color for sure. But you know what? Uh, it's Part of this is the lights. Part of it is the fact that I probably do have some color because I live in Florida, and I'm just naturally going to get sun when I'm out and about. But this takes it to a whole new level. Now, over the years... I have figured out how to apply this, and it's just so easy, so easy. So let me show you what I do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my watch off, and I'm going to take my rings off. I'm only going to do this arm, and I'm not going to take these little bracelets off because they're too much trouble, and I can work around them. And by the way, look at this. Can you see that? I was asleep on the sofa taking a nap of Week, about a week ago, and Biscuit jumped up and literally jumped on me and like this, and he caught me right there. I have, a, I have a puncture where he got me with his nail and then a bruise. I'm not going to do this arm, but if you happen to see that, that's what that is. He hasn't done that to me in a long time. When he was a puppy, he jumped on me and got me a lot of times, but... Not in a long time. So, so here's what I use to apply it. I've had this brush for, I know, probably 20 years, 18, 20 years. It's Bare Minerals, and it's called, it's got it on here, Body Buffing. And I got this when it came with the, I remember the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. It was how you applied the Faux Tan. That's when I got this. It's just a really dense kabuki brush. But I'm telling you, any makeup brush that is sort of uh, real heavily, real dense will work for this. It doesn't have to be this one. Use something you have. Use something you have. I always keep this in my Ziploc bag. I keep my brush my big size and I also and you this is what's so neat about this is you, you when you go to uh, get this you'll see they have the little trial size that is I mean it's tiny 0 0.75 fluid ounces so it's just a little small tube that you can try it out before you spend almost ten dollars on the full size so uh, and I travel with always with one of those small ones because the way I use it, it really doesn't take very much effort. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, we're, we're going to do this arm and we're just going to do it from just up under this sleeve down to my wrist so that you can see the difference then in the two of these. Right now they look pretty much the same. What I'm going to do I don't, as I said, I don't use my hands. I don't put on gloves. Don't need them the way I do it. And I'm just going to take this and just, ooh, now, okay, I got way too much. But we'll make it work. That, I mean, that is way too much. But I'll be tan. I, I don't want to, listen, no. I have a tissue here. I'm going to blot some of that off because I don't need that. <laughs> So get my clothes out. Usually I'll do this <clears throat> with just my underwear on. But, but I start, and very lightly, I start brushing. And uh, like I say, you can, you can do this 
with any brush. And I go, I, when you tan naturally, you don't get a lot of sun on the underneath side of your arm and in your elbow where it creases here. So I barely do that. And I tell you, doing here helps hide those bat wings. If you happen to have on something sleeveless, I do not moisturize before I do this. This is a lotion. And then I'm going to move my bracelets up. And again, I get very little, as you can see, on my wrist here. It mainly just to blend this in. My elbow, very, I'm doing this, it may look like I'm rubbing hard, but very lightly on my elbow skin. And then on my hands, I'm going to take what's left and I do the back of my hands. And then I take my, close my fingers like that and do this. And I don't do around my nails. I get right there. Sometimes I sort of go a little bit. I don't do the palms of my hands. Now remember, I only had a tiny bit of this on here. Okay. And then I'm going to let this dry. And it's not wet. Trust me, it's not wet now but I'm going to make sure that it sets it's dry and that usually I usually try to give it maybe 15 minutes although sometimes I don't give it 15 minutes and I'll tell you a real quick story I had used this back when I was looking for the white shirt and I had ordered the first white button down from Chico I had just applied this I mean within a few minutes and I'd put it on my arms I would put it on my neck because I was wearing something that was going to be cut down a little bit, so I did it right here. I was going to be going out of the house is the reason I did it that day. And it, I had just put it on. The doorbell rang, and it was uh, the shirt, the white shirt. So I ripped it out of the package, ran to the bathroom, and got undressed and put the shirt on. I, I, of course, it was three-quarter length sleeves. It had that pop-up collar, the Elvis collar. And so it was up like this, and I looked at it, and I was looking and moving around and realizing that it was, too, it was just too snug on me. And I knew I was going to have to take it back. And the first thing that hit me right then was, oh, my gosh, I just put on that leg makeup. Oh, no. There's no way I can return this shirt to Chico's and that you know that top was close to a hundred dollars I think seventy five hundred dollars something like that and I'm thinking oh my gosh I took the shirt off and I looked at it and there was not one smidgen of this on that shirt and when I took that shirt back to Chico's my local Chico's a few days later do you know, and I told her what had happened, you know, that it was too small. And she started looking at that shirt, and she was looking for, to see. She was looking at the collar. She looked at the cuffs. She she was looking, and I'm sure this is something they do with all the, the things. But I think, you know, she was looking to see if it had makeup on it, possibly. And there was nothing. She, she didn't say a word other than helped me with my return. There you go. I, 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 if you overdo it, yes, it's going to rub off. But I think if you do it very, very lightly, anywhere you're going to put it on your body, it will, it's, it's just going to be fine. All right. So it's been now about five minutes since I had it, since I put it on. And You can probably see a difference there on my hands. I can. And my arms. Oh, there, yeah. There you can tell a difference. 
This has only been on for about five minutes, but it will get better as I've had it on longer as far as not rubbing off. And I mean, I've, I've just never had any issues with it rubbing off on my clothes. Now, how do you get this off? Water by itself won't remove it. You need to use soap and water. So when you take your next bath or your next shower and you're rubbing with soap and water, uh, that will take it off instantly. And it just, of course, goes down the drain. Self-tanner. Oh, one other thing. One other thing about this. Let me show you something else I do. If I'm going out, which generally that's the only time I ever apply this makeup. Look at this. It's already getting so pretty. I've put my jewelry back on. What I do, because, you know, if I'm going to the movie or if we're going out to eat, if I have to go to the ladies' room or if I want to wash my hands while I'm out and about, I want to hopefully maintain this color because soap and water will take this off. What I do is I will barely wet the palms of my hands, just, you know, hold it so that I can get a little water on it from the faucet and then a soap, and then I'll do my hands like this. Just really rub them like I normally would, and then I rinse just my hands off, trying not to get any water on the backs of my hands or fingers. But, you know, from time to time, if you're one of these people, and which I usually am, and this you're gonna wash this off of the back of your hands, what I do is I have my little bag, and I take just my brush i don't put any more lotion on it because there's going to be enough still i can rub it hard enough that i can get lotion out and after i've washed my hands i just have this in my purse you know usually sort of like that and i just take it out and rub my hands the backs of my hands to get my color back. I love this stuff, I love it. I travel with the small size, just to be on the safe side. And this is the one I'm always, and this lasts forever. I mean, a tube of this seems to last me forever. So, and I mean years. So I love this, I love this, I love this. A lot of times when you comment, Patty, you have a great tan. This is what it is. This is exactly what it is. I don't have to get out and lay out in the sun. <sighs> the next thing I want to talk to you about is uh, my hair, my hairband, my headband. It's one of my square hairbands, and uh, I, I know that so many of you wear these too. You've you've seen me talk about them, and you have ordered them for yourselves, and you've ordered them for gifts. And Marcia and Julie contacted me recently and told me that they were so appreciative of me talking about the bands over the years since I discovered them. So many of you had bought them that they wanted to make a band in my honor. And so, and this is it. They sent it to me and I just got it in day before yesterday and it's black and normally they have the crystals. If you want crystals, they're right on the side here, but these have the crystals all across the top. Is this not the cutest thing? I hope that this does it justice. I tell you what, let me take it off because this is what it looks like. Can you see it? And if you're new to these, they work like sunglasses. How many of us put our sunglasses on up over our head when we don't use them. And that's the whole premise of these. They're very, very comfortable. They have little rubber grippies right here. And they're just, this is just so cute. I mean. And I'm so honored. You know, I don't know. Oh, look. I just noticed here. It says, One rock star, BK for black, I'm sure. RXSDR. Look at that. 
Oh! I just noticed that. Squarehairbands.com. I will have these or the website listed below. They're just comfortable. It's like putting sunglasses on my head to keep my hair out of my eyes. And as I've gotten older, I just, I know many of you tell me how much better, how much younger I look with my bangs and my hair hanging down. Of course, you could still wear this, you know, with bangs. But I want that hair off of my face. It just, I can wear it down long like this in the back, but I want it off of my face. <sighs> off of my face. 99% of the time, it's back off of my face. These make awesome gifts. They make awesome granddaughter gifts, girlfriend gifts, sister gifts, mother gifts, daughter gifts. They just make awesome gifts they're, because they're just so unusual. And and they come in every color, every pattern, with or without the crystals. You, you just have to go and look at them because I'm telling you, you'll be as hooked as I am over them. I want to thank Julie and Marcia for making a rock star mom headband or a rock star headband. I love it. I just love it. I know I'm going to get a tremendous wear out of this. I mean, this would be great on one of my cruises when I at night if I have, you know, black on and just want my hair pulled back or perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Marcia. Uh, they're from Dothan, Alabama, and they are girlfriends. They've been girl lifelong girlfriends. Decided to sell head make headbands and sell them and they're called square hairbands and again i will link the uh website below this video and the show more so you'll know where to find that okay so many of you have been asking about the cruise and i i have been so hesitant about talking about the cruise because It was just so-so. Jim and I are huge cruisers. We love to cruise. We've cruised the Mediterranean we've, numerous times. We've, we've cruised the Caribbean once, twice, three times a year for many, many years. And it's always been fun. We've always loved it. We just like the cruising experience. Um, and... This one was just different. But listen, I want to say this first before I tell you what was different about it and why I think we didn't have as big of a time on this particular cruise. One of the neat, neatest things about being a content creator here on YouTube is that from time to time, we're so fortunate, so fortunate to be able to meet one of you. And I, this is either the third or the fourth time that I have met one of you on a cruise. And so I think it was the second day out on the ship, uh, Daphne and her husband Rick came up to Jim and myself and said, are you rock star mom? You're rock star mom, aren't you? And you're Patty. And I said, yes. And of course, they apologized for interrupting us. And I'm going, oh, you made my day. You know, you just make my day. All of you, anywhere you see me out, please come up. I, I may look like, I may look pretty rough, but please, come, please come up to me. And uh, let me know that you watch my videos. If that that is just the best feeling. And I've met some of you at Walmart, and I've I've met you at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and it just seems like I meet you a lot. And and so they, again, I want to say hi to Daphne and Rick and. Oh, they live out in the San Diego area, and let me tell you something. They're just about the cutest couple. She is an absolute doll, and they cruise all the time, too. I think, I think that 
the reason we didn't enjoy this cruise as much, and it was nine days, I believe, either nine or ten, was that the ship was empty. We were on Celebrity, which is probably our favorite cruise line, and we had done this cruise two or three times in the past, and this uh, Celebrity had, because of the pandemic, they were really starting to relax some of their restrictions, but the one thing they were doing is they were only booking the ships uh, when we were sailing then, when we did this, when we did this cruise, uh, at forty percent occupancy, and which meant that there just were not that many people on the ship. Some would look at as, oh wow, that's neat. You don't have to wait to eat. You don't have to wait to to get on an elevator. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to fight for a seat uh, or a deck chair on the deck. You don't have to uh, send somebody ahead to save seats in the theater because the cruise ships are usually pretty full that we've been on, really full. And there's always this hustle bustle. You You get on... You know, you just know when you get on one of the umpteen elevators on the ship, you just know you're probably not going to be able to get on the first one that comes by. You're going to have to wait to have room. You know that, I mean, <laughs> Jim's the best. We would decide when we were going to go out and, you know, lay in the sun on the deck out around the pool, and and he would go and grab us a couple of chairs and, you know, put our bags and everything in our towels, and which you're not really supposed to do, but people do it anyway, uh, so that we could go eat or... Uh, but just save the chair for us. Listen, there was always a chair anywhere you wanted it. You went in the theater. There was... You could sit anywhere you wanted to sit, basically. You... Uh, uh, there were just no lines to eat. Now, one thing I did like is the buffet. The buffet normally, on every ship we've ever been on, you just go up and help yourself. I mean, if you've ever been on a cruise, you know, and I think I have some pictures. But this one was totally different. This one, uh, they did have, uh, they did not have server, serving utensils, I think. So if you wanted something, you would have put your plate up, and there was an attendant uh, server behind that, particular counter with the food on it and they would put the food you would tell them what you wanted and they would put the food on your plate so you couldn't you didn't have access to the food and I really did like that the food was wonderful but I really did like that that part of it we normally when we cruise in advance we'll look at the ports of call and we will decide whether or not or what excursion we wanted to take once we got there. And we would always go ahead and book because when that ship is full, those excursions fill up fast. So we would always book things in advance. But, uh, but we decided, since we had already been to all of these ports of call multiple times, that we would not book anything. And if we decided that we wanted to do something, we could book it at the last minute. We knew that we wouldn't have any problem. Can I call you back? I'm filming. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. That was my sister, Brenda. <laughs> we, we knew, you know, there, there were multiple options at every port of call of things to do uh, off the ship for the day. So, so we knew we wouldn't have any trouble finding something if we wanted to. As it happened, we just didn't want to. Uh, we we were still being cautious about COVID. Neither neither one of us have had it. We've been very very careful. The ship had just rela re relaxed their mask rule and or celebrity, and we were not required to wear a mask while we were on the ship. All crew members, regardless of their position, from the captain all the way down, they had to wear them all the time. 
but passengers didn't have to. We were very careful about when we wore our mask. We wore them in the theater. We wore them wherever we were where there was a group of people right around us. But when we were out on the deck having lunch in the buffet or even when we would go in a dining room, we would wear it. But out on the deck and and in the buffet, we didn't wear them. We, we did get off the ship a few times uh, at different ports, and they had different restrictions. One, one place, and I don't remember where it was, but you had to wear a mask to get through the gate once you got off the ship. You had to have a mask on. And they actually took your picture which I thought was interesting. Another port of call that we got off and walked around in, before we could come through the gate to go back to the ship, they took our temperature. I can't remember if we were asked for our COVID cards. Of course, we we, we had to have those. But it it was just, I, I think getting back to, to, it being different, it, I think it, I just miss the people. I miss the hustle bustle. I missed, I just, it, it was like, because it only had 40% occupancy, it, there were also fewer crew members. I mean, if you've, if you've cruised before the pandemic, you know that <laughs> there are crew members everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere, and they're they're scrubbing the decks, they're painting, they're they're wiping, they're cleaning, they're wiping the banisters to the stairwells. They're they're like little bees working, and it, there was very little of that. Very little. It was just different. It, uh, for some people, I'm sure that would. That would be, all of that would be just fine. It was almost like we had the ship to ourselves. I think we just like the hustle bustle. We like all of the people. We like to meet people. We like to see people. We like to, we just like, it, there's an excitement when there's a lot of people. I think that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. I will tell you, when the cruise was over and we, were, we sailed back into Fort Lauderdale overnight, and we had to be, normally, we would have our bags and we would put them outside of our door the, the night before uh, we were sailing in. They would take our, your bag and, our bags and, and take them down and then they would get them off the ship and you would claim your bags once you got off the ship and you would go through customs. But they, they did have that we could... If we, if we wanted to be responsible for our own bags, we could get off of the ship like at 7.30 that morning. And Jim and I decided that we could handle our bags. That was no, no problem, and that way we could get on the road coming home. We had our bags ready to go and went to bed the night before, and we got up early. I, I had set my alarm, and I got up, and I got dressed, and it was still dark out. And I thought, well, I'm going to just open these drapes and go out on the balcony, see what's going on. And when I tell you, it was breathtakingly beautiful. I turned around, the door was open, going back into the, our little room, and, and I, I said, Jim, come out here, come. And he came out and he went, oh my gosh. And you are probably seeing some video or some pictures of that. And it was just breathtakingly beautiful. It was so early in the morning. It was still dark and it was the lights of Fort Lauderdale. It was... The, the sky, it was the water, it was other ships. It was just breathtakingly beautiful. And it truly was. It made all the uh, times that we just were not excited about that trip, that excited us. It was just wonderful. There you have it. I... I, I 
we didn't take as many pictures as we usually take, or I didn't. I'm the one who takes the pictures. But, I don't know. It was just different. So, so we're, we're excited. I think we're, we might, we're looking at going to Alaska late summer. We haven't planned it yet. We may do another Caribbean before Christmas sometime. And then we definitely want to do another Mediterranean cruise uh, while we're still able, before we get too old to truly enjoy it. So hopefully by all the time all of those happen, the ships will be uh, able to be 100% or close to at occupancy. And it'll just be a different situation. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to be all different. I'm glad we went. It was good for us to get away from home like that. But, yeah, yeah, just different, just different. All right. Listen, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've ever used Sally Hansen. Let me know if you're wearing square hair bands. Have you ordered them? Do you like them as much as I do? Let me know. And have you cruised since the pandemic started? And how was your experience? Did you like the ships being sort of empty? Or do you like it busy and the, all the hustle bustle the way we do? Let me know. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to be kind. Know that I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.